Home insulation is increasingly important in today's energy conscious environment. So the question is not, should you insulate, but rather, what type of insulation should you use? The two most widely used types of insulation are fiberglass and cellulose. And while their function is the same, the difference between the two are worth a closer look now more than ever before, as you'll soon see. Fiberglass is manufactured primarily from the same raw material as any other glass product. Sand, potash, and often recycled plate glass. Cellulose, on the other hand, is made from 85% ground up newspapers and magazines with boric acid and ammonium sulfate added to reduce its natural flammability. Fiberglass maintains its R value over time and doesn't retain moisture. Cellulose, on the other hand, tends to settle over time and is often installed using water, encouraging mildew and possible mold growth. However, the most important difference between these two products is cellulose poses a risk for fire, and fiberglass does not. ASTM E970 spells out what they deem an acceptable standard for how insulation should respond in the presence of fire. Basically, a passing grade of less than 0.12 watts per centimeter squared is determined through a flame spread test. That's difficult for most of us to understand. So let's look at an example of the process used to determine the risk for fire. To conduct this test, two identical metal trays are filled with insulation, one with fiberglass and the other with cellulose. Through a calibration process, it's determined that a flame can burn its way up to 850 millimeters down the tray and still pass the test. Watch carefully and then make your own decision. Let's start with fiberglass. The tray is placed in a metal chamber with an open glass flame held just above the insulation. A timer is started and the chamber is preheated for two minutes. Then the flame is lowered directly onto the insulation and allowed to stay there for another two minutes. The flame is raised and the fiberglass sample is removed. You can see that no combustion took place, except for a very slight color lightning directly under the flame. The fiberglass insulation was literally unchanged. Now the same test with a tray filled with cellulose. The insulation is preheated for two minutes and then the flame is lowered. Immediately a plume of fire appears and travels quickly down the insulation. Two minutes later the tray is removed. Almost the entire surface of the cellulose is still smoldering and the insulation is charred. If we place the two test trays side by side, the difference is even more dramatic. The fiberglass shows almost no change, but the cellulose is black from the flame and smoking. Here's the most remarkable result. As you can see, the flame has traveled down the cellulose filled tray 800 millimeters. Believe it or not, this is still a passing performance. Despite the fact the majority of the cellulose was blackened and was smoking, it still passes the current ASTM standard. But this may be the most startling evidence of all. Early on the morning of May 7, 2011, Tampa, Florida fire squads were called to the green fiber factory to extinguish a fire. Smoldering bales of cellulose insulation were found in the company's own warehouse. A hot metal spark had fallen into the insulation during processing and ignited the shredded newspaper product. If cellulose can catch fire right in the factory when the chemicals are fresh, what could happen months or years from now when the product begins to deteriorate? After learning about the dramatic results of this test and the cellulose factory fire, the question becomes, what type of insulation do you want in your home? Or if you're a contractor or builder, what type of insulation would you install in a customer's home? If you're in insurance, would you really want to insure a home that has cellulose in it? What insulation would you trust? The question on cellulose insulation comes down to this. Where there's smoke, there most likely is fire. Is it really worth the risk?